Hi guys, it's Matt again. Um, so what we've covered so far is literally opening Pro Tools um, and making sound effects ready for the game. So whether that be recording high and bouncing down or just simply recording the sound effects ready. So what I've literally did here is recorded, got recordings of five bird sounds and some wind. So what I'm going to go through today is creative implementation and not just implementation. So what we've got here is two log cabins, basic log cabins, and um, some trees and some grass. So from this, how we should think how we want to dress this environment up. So as I stated before, all I wanted to do was add some wind and birds. There's two ways of doing this. First way is to just get a loop, maybe 60 second continuous loop of a field recording of a tr uh, some wind and some birds and just let it play. Um, I don't recommend doing this unless you physically have to, mainly because you will start to hear uh, repeat noises every so often. So, for example, if there's a crow that goes at the start of the loop, the next time that loop will come around, it'll be there again and again and again, if you get what I mean, which can grate on the player because we have no idea how long the gamer is going to spend in this environment at all. Could be five seconds, could be an hour, could be five hours, could be anything. So the second way is to be very creative with your approach. So what I've did is I've taken a very small loop of just wind and some really light bird noises that you wouldn't really hear unless you were listening out for them. I'll let you hear it first. So just wind. You hear very, very quiet chirping in the background, which is fine. And I've literally played that over the game. Um, as for the birds, I've recorded five different bird noises. Or got them from sample libraries, however you need to get the sounds. You can hear all very different. But bird noises nonetheless. And we're going to show you how to make this very creative. So if I hit play in the game. As you can hear, you can get a real soundscape of the place with the birds. Even if you stand still. That's enough. Cool. So I'm going to go in and actually show you how I, I created the signs. So if I go, or not created the signs, implemented the signs. So if I go to my first queue, I've placed it in the trees. The reason I've placed it in the trees is because in the game there will be no visual birds. So there's nothing visually going on to place signs to. So I need to be creative and think, right, where will the signs be if I can't see them? And it's going to be in the trees. Let's face it, birds, trees. So I've put them in the trees with this round fall off distance. So if you're in this from here, as you go gradually into this source, it'll get louder. So with that running around this space, you'll get different uh, volumes of the birds, which is, which is exactly what I wanted. I've also put the exact same cue over here. Somewhere right here. Yep, here with a bigger radius, but with if covering the full map as well so between the two everything's getting covered so that's awesome so what is a queue a sound queue looks like this now this looks really daunting but the best way i can describe it is if you could imagine a guitar so take this as our guitar and run it to a guitar amp if i hit the space bar which is just the same as pressing play we will hear the sound cue. Well, the sound source, sorry. So this is where being creative with the sound cue comes in. So what I have literally did here, I'll walk through every step, is I put all five of my bird sounds in. So this is the first step. The next is dragging each of them into a mixer. Brilliant. Dragging from the mixer into a randomizer 
a randomizer basically does exactly what it says in the tin. It picks which node it wants to play in a random order. Um, you can take it that you wanted to play without repeating or replacement. Yeah, brilliant. Then from the randomer, it's going into a delay unit. Set your delay values up there. So in seconds, two. Minimum delay to max delay, six, sec six and a half seconds. That could be anything. You don't even have to delay it if you don't want to. Um, make sure it's looping. The uh, reason for making sure it's looping is because after it gets to playing all five of these, it'll stop. So make sure it's looping all sounds cues. Now, to make sure it's not looping the exact same sounds the whole way around, you can uh, put a modulator node on after the looping. So make sure the pitch is changing a little bit each time, the volume's changing a little bit each time. Then dragging it into the mixer, into the output. So I hope that makes sense. Another thing to consider is literally you can put anything. So you can have a Doppler effect on it. Um, whatever. Um, this is basically where you can basically try whatever you want and try different uh, approaches. Um, this is just what I used for this because I thought it worked, which it does. So we're just going to play the cue and you can visually see it working in, in time. So if I press play, now because there's a delay on it, it will play when it, when it kicks in. So the first ones went. So yet again, delay. Another one played. Should play another one soon. Yep, brilliant. So, and so on and so forth. Now, why I think that is creative is because I've literally placed two at the same time, doing the exact same thing, only they're not playing the exact same thing at the same time because of the randomer. So there's two, so in theory, the six sets of bird, or 10 sets of bird noises all being modulated. So endless amounts of audio, endless. So another thing you can do is think about your environment. So this is really basic, I've just knocked this up. But if I hit play, as a player, if I step into this house, it should sound a little bit different from being outside because there's a roof on it. So let's move in. As you can hear, the wind's kind of died down. I can still hear the birds a bit. Very slightly. Yep. But I move out. It's different. This is by Putin. Um, just uh, let's have a look. How did I do it? It's just reverb zones, and uh, but this is just this is advanced stuff. But you're just making reverb zones. Um, inside the cabin. So as you can see, there's a reverb box here. So anything that goes in here will cut the high end off. And as you come out, it will sort of, it'll, it will come back. Let me just see. Yeah. Um, that, that's not needed right now, but I just wanted to show you how I would do ambient sounds with the Unreal sound cue. Um, I know it must be very daunting for people, or I might have went over too fast, just whatever. Just give me a shout if you need if any more questions, and we'll go over certain bits for you. But thank you very much for listening and I hope this was any help to you at all. Thank you.